Hello there and welcome to my YouTube channel Julia McNeil Crafts. So today I thought we could look at how to use a mop-up page in your journal. I'm forever saying that I'll clean stuff off in, in a journal. This is my original art journal. So there's lots in it that I hate. <laughs> really old stuff like yeah as you can see yep I genuinely it is my place for sort of dumping. <laughs> leftover bits and bobs so yeah this is kind of as I said the stuff and I love I love this page the stuff and I love and the stuff and I hate because I've learned a lot in uh, <laughs> since starting but it's not finished yet and I kind of feel I should um finish it yeah so yeah lots of dodgy work in there as you can see but I just thought, let's have a look. So I've just finished recording the gouache for crafters and I said I'd clean it up in a journal. So the pink that I was using, I've just cleaned off on there. All the other stuff was sort of already there. I think it was stencils I cleaned. Um, and I cleaned my stamps as well. So I think I, I'd stamped with the flowers. So that's it. And I thought, let's just see about making a quick and easy journal page. So I've got some rice paper that I've been hoarding for a while so I thought we could have a look at that because sometimes we're in the mood for crafting and creating but we maybe just don't have the time for it and this is where mop-up pages come into their own because quite often it's you know creating the backgrounds, creating the textures, waiting for the textures to dry, it's all that sort of stuff that takes up the time. Um, but if that's already done for us and we've got a main focal thing, in theory, <laughs> we'll see how it goes, in theory we should be able to put a really nice journal page together really quickly. So that is what I am hoping to do today, just to have a little play in our journals and see how we get on. So I'm just roughly cutting um, this ballerina out so what I tend to do is use um, the water to um, cut out because if we have a rough edge um, it blends into our page much easier. Now I'm thinking that actually quite a lot of this journal page is probably going to be a bit bright for what we have so and I want the ballerina, ballerina to stand out because everything that you've got underneath will show through. So I roughly want her in the centre um, so what I'm going to do is sort of white out the centre a little bit and maybe white out some of these other bits. So I've got my 13 Arts um, gesso and we will, as I said, we'll just sort of, this is a really nice thick gesso. So all the detail will still be there, the colours will still be there but hopefully it means we can see the beauty of that ballerina a little bit and that's the thing when you're cleaning off it's not gone to waste because it's become a layer in your journal it was better than throwing it in the bin or washing the ink down the sink because that's what would have happened anyway it was sort of out it was um a, you know not usable as was so you know if we lose a little bit it's not the end of the world so i'm just as i said knocking some of it back because i want a soft um, pretty feel to it but I do want to keep some of the details so and as I said that pink is just a bit too bright and I really want this centre bit whitened out quite well um, because as I said with um, rice paper um, you will see the layers underneath so I am just going to let that dry and then we will stick our beautiful ballerina down so I've quickly blattered that with my heat gun. I am now just going to put um, some, this is the Dina Weekly um, Gel Medium. It's not my overly favourite. So far the slap, my slap, the slap on has been my favourite, but um, I think I might be open to trying some other brands as well, sort of expanding my horizons finding what I really like. So I'm just roughly putting that on because it will be good for me to have. I'd rather lose her foot than her hand so I'm just positioning that down and then what I should be able to do is just glue down the edges of this and hopefully it should just blend into the page. 
and then I'll get some other bits of the rice paper just to work on the edges of this page and I think you know pretty much be us done just a little sentiment and um, that'll be sorted so that is really what I wanted to show be <clears throat> because of my previous job so I used to work as a mickle therapist and part of what we did was encourage people um, to do things for themselves um, and also to find a creative outlet so being creative is sort of, I don't know, it's part of a human need. You look at any young child, they are all creative. Um, you know, whether it be that they're making up songs, whether they're making up stories or jokes or drawing or playing with Lego or, you know, there is always a creative outlet of some description. But quite often as we get older, you know, real life takes over and we kind of think, well, we don't have time for that because I've got to be a mum and I've got to work and I've got to look after the house and everything else becomes a priority and sometimes our creative self can be left behind. And actually, being able to look after our creative self is very, very good for emotional health. So, having um, things that you can do and think, do you know what, I just need a little bit of time, I just need to do a bit of creativity, but I don't have three hours to sit down and play in my craft space. Um, having things like mop-up pages and, um, you know, a, a nice focal point of some description is a really good way of, you know, dealing with that. So, that is quite nice. As I said, I want to sort of add some of the other elements of um, the paper into this page. So I think what I'll do is maybe just pop you on fast forward while I do that. wanting to pop some bits of gesso in places where it's ended up looking just a little bit heavy for me so I just want to sort of soften elements of it down so that we can kind of see what everything is meant to be but um, yeah but it looks it looks like it's all blended and meant to be I'm just going to give that a circular motion there okay so I don't not much to be honest but just little bits and bobs here and there just to knock it back a bit I'm wondering whether to bring a bit of a stencil in that might be an idea okay so I was going to stencil in white but actually I'd pulled out this Victorian velvet distress ink because I was thinking it matched the colors in the ballerina um, really well and I was actually just going to distress the edges with it but I was thinking yeah look at that that's so pretty I was thinking that I might actually bring bring that in and actually yeah I'm glad I've gone for that rather than than the white because that layers in really well so I'll maybe put a bit more of that um, down here and then I think we're pretty much done so as I said quick and easy today but it just shows that you know you can have a quick five minute play it can fill your need for some crafty goodness and yeah it doesn't have to be complicated it doesn't have to take you hours and I do find that so not only does your mop-up pages save waste which you know we all hate if we're spending our money on these wonderful products <laughs> it's because we love them so we don't want to see it all being washed down the sink or tipped in the bin oops sorry some of those 
elements are just still a little bit wet. So this is a great way um, of doing it. But as I said, it's something that's talked about a lot, but we maybe don't... Um, it's like, well, that's great. That's great. I've wiped it off in, into a book. But what do I do now? So I'm just finally going around the actual edges of this page and distressing it with this um, Victorian velvet. Um, I think what I am going to do as well... I've just got a few bits in. Bits of fluff. Okay, I'm just going to add some of these stickers. So I've got She Is Brave and I have um, Believe in Daydreams. I'll stick those down. And there was, what was the other one I was going to put? The Journey as the Destination. I'm going to put that one up here. I may actually have to stick those down a little bit. Right, I'm going to pull in, this was the sheet that I was doing my gouache painting on, so there's, I'm just going to, so now this will, <laughs> I'll transfer, this will end up in another journal. So I just want to emphasise those um, sentiments a little bit. I may have to stick them down in a little bit with um, some, what do you call it, um, some of the uh, gel medium. But I just want these to stand out, but I don't want to, normally I do this with my ink tents, but I actually don't want it too heavy because the page in general is very soft, but it is just needing highlighted a little bit. So the fact that I've chosen the same colours that it's been edged, the same colour that the page has been edged in and, and we have that stencil, it'll, it emphasises it, but it also sort of ties in. It's not going to scream as not belonging to, to the page, but it just does help it to lift it. It's the whole shadowing thing that um, shadow automatically gets pushed to the background which pushes the other thing into the foreground so it means that we automatically see the sentiment because adding the colour has pushed it forward. So that's why we do little tips and tricks like like these and that's why it's kind of worth, worth the faffing effort a little bit. Now that's kind of bled into that rice paper and um, it will dry and be fine it's just that it's a little bit wet at the moment so yeah I think that's me I am just going to draw a doodly border and then I think we will have some gold splashes just to finish off with so yeah I will draw my border and be back when I've got my gold paint Okay, so I've got this sort of bronzy gold colour, it's Kuretake number 9C, but it goes really well with the colours that are um, in there because it's not like a sort of in your face um, kind of carrot gold thing, it's a bit more of a rose gold, it's a bit softer. So I've done the splashes and I'm just going to turn my page and splash again just so that my splashes aren't all going in the one direction. To me it just makes it look more natural. That's my mind, everybody's different. Okay, so I will just remove these pieces here from the ballerina. Actually I might even just, I'm wondering whether to spray some of these so we get a few drips. Can't be a bit of drippage. <laughs> Actually what I will do is let's deliberately create some drips. Okay. Art journaling. Change your mind as you go. That's crafter's prerogative. Okay. Just yeah, just added a few gold drips. I actually think that makes all the difference. <laughs> um yeah, I like that. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed that crafty session um, with me. Um, quick and easy way of using up your mop up page. If you have enjoyed it here, please do consider liking and subscribing and I will be back again very soon. Okay, take care then and goodbye.